with time, it becomes the Grand Prix horse that absolutely is much like his rider in a meditative state. Tell me, tell me, I'm ready, tell me, I, I have no instincts, tell me, I'm utterly at your disposal. <laughs> And that huge transpiration. And that's the, the yeah, it's the taming of the whole. It's the slight problem with the word submission. Yeah, yeah. the word submission in the modern day has uh, an implication of worldwide wrestling and and yeah. holding the wrestler down on the mat until they give in. Whereas yeah. the way that you put over the submission is a willing acceptance of the rider because the horse is going, which is a very different um, uh, concept to, you know, the horse will do it. You know, the horse should do this. And that. Well, why should the horse do that? It'll only do it if it's comfortable doing it yeah. rather than you know, blindfolding it. I always think yeah. that drawings or bad, strong bits are the equivalent of blindfolding the horse and you push yeah. its nose into its chest and into force, not willingly handing over its energies to the rider. And ultimately, all animal training is based on pleasure and, and pain. So what the pain doesn't have to be always physical pain, but the pain of of being confused, the rattled horse, the scared horse, the confused horse who never can please his rider because he's rattled, he's frustrated. And so there's mental pain and pleasure and physical pain and pleasure. And those are of course the instruments by which we train and teach our horse. Yeah.